It, it's peaking this weekend. Yes, it's actually peaking uh, today. Night owls, don't forget to look up. The Leonids meteor shower has been active since earlier this month, but the show is especially good right now. Elena Hyde with York University explains the Leonids is hitting its peak this weekend. We're expecting about a meteor every three minutes, so you'll have a good chance to see them. This is the kind of thing where you don't you don't need a telescope like this to see this. This is just naked eye kind of stuff, right? Correct. Uh, you do not need a telescope, and actually having a giant telescope will not help you in a meteor shower. Um, the meteor shower is best viewed with your naked eye. Actually, even binoculars will limit your field of view. What you want to be doing is looking up at as much of the sky as possible. This particular show being created as Earth passes through a cloud of debris left behind in our orbit by a comet. So the comet in this case has a, a little bit of a tricky name to remember. It's called Temple Tuttle and 55 Temple Tuttle and both Temple and Tuttle independently discovered this comet uh, back in 18 something something and so it got named after both of them. Astronomical events like this, I feel like this is a really good thing you could do with the family. Pop a few bags of popcorn, yeah. jump in the car, play some music, go out and see what you can spot. I absolutely agree. This is a great activity for anybody who just wants to look up. Maybe not very young children because you will have to stay up past midnight uh, for this one. How far away uh, from like a major light source do you think we need to uh, be going? So a good dark park in Toronto would be good enough. And she says this year has been especially good for sky gazers for a couple of reasons. So 2023 has been an excellent year for everybody who loves meteor showers and for people who like Aurora. If you missed the show, there is still another chance on Sunday with a meteor expected roughly once every 10 minutes. At York University, David Zura, City News.